Hey guys, Biomancer here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. Now, before I continue onward, I feel I should probably let everybody know that this game has its fair share of missables. So, if you're going for a perfect game, uh, there's really two things to keep in mind most of all. I mean, you're probably already searching everywhere you can, putting any items that you want to keep in your bag, which, yes, this game does have a bag. The NES version does not. But, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is mini medals. Now, at the beginning of each chapter, I'll tell you how many mini medals are in that chapter. And if I know whether or not it's permanently missable, I will point it out, but there's some that I don't know if it's permanently missable or not. I suppose it should be pretty obvious. But, uh, in any case, there are no mini medals in the prologue or in chapter one, so feel, f you know, <laughs> be at ease, you haven't missed any yet. However, there is one item that I failed to grab in this woman's house right here, she'll let me buy. And it's because it requires you to rotate the camera to see it, however, my R button is like broken. And there it is, a seed of strength, which I want in the bag for later use. Now, if you rotate the camera and want it to get set back to normal, just hit L and R at the same time and it will go back to its normal position. Anyways, we are ready to continue onward. So we're going to head towards the, uh, the cave to Strathbell. You know, the enemies on the world map in Chapter 1 are no longer any kind of threat whatsoever to us. And it's a very short trek. There's two treasure chests in here, one of them being right here. And we're fighting simple enemies, still. Uh, I think there is actually a new enemy you can encounter in here. I believe the Heel Slime. Ah, it's you, Ragnar! Are you on your way to Strathbale too? Yes, yes I am. And there's the exit to the cave. However, we're not quite ready to go to the exit. Now, I definitely over-grinded. I mean, you don't need to get the absolute best equipment possible to get through here. Honestly, you're probably good just, you know, getting up to like level 3 or 4 and buying a hardwood headwear and then moving on. But you definitely want to buy the best gear available as far as armor goes in this town. Well, hello there, soldier. Welcome to Strathbale. Let's see, here's the item shop. Uh, nothing I need. It's good to see you here, soldier. This probably will not help you at all, but, well, it was like the Baron just disappeared right before my eyes. This is Strathbale School. The innkeeper's son, Wee Willy Wally, was a pupil here before he disappeared. Na 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 na! You canna catch me! You canna catch me! Wait! Just wait, will you? James, could s someone no stop that loss from footer in a boot? Medicinal herb there, nothing in there. Weesh, who am I supposed to study with all these distractions? Disappearing children? Do you mean Withy Wally from the inn? I know him alright. He became an angel and flew away in the sky, it's true. You're from the castle in Berlin, I think you're amazing. 
When I grow up, I'm going to be a palace guard just like you. No interesting books there. Headmaster's Diary, slotted between a couple of the books. Ragnar reads a small section. Those kitties don't listen to a word I say. The wee rascals have been sneaking out of the village and getting up to all sorts of mischief. It's good that you came, soldier, but we're in the middle of a lesson right now. Come back tonight and we can gab away as much as you like then. So we had to BS around until night time. That's all fine and well, but we're going to continue talking to people first. I'm a traveling nun. I journey around the world to spread the word of the goddess. I'm sure the children who went missing will hear her voice in the inn and be guided back to safety. Do you ken that I'm the one who caught that laddie stealing the bread? He's behind bars, doing in the jail now, but he's no showing a scrap of remorse. He's even got the cheek to be pretending he's a kid and asking to be let out. Plain clothes, we don't really need that, we can sell it. I suppose if you're uh, going for a perfect file, you'll just want to stick it in your uh, bag. Meow. Let's see, where else? Yeah, you can get back there, but there's nothing there right now. There's a cheeky wee beggar who's always footering around outside at night. Next time I see him, I'm gonna ask just what he thinks he's up to. The fellow doing in the jail was caught stealing bread, but his memory's gone and he can't mind a thing about it. He must have had something terrifying happen to him to be reduced back to being a kid like that. Well, if it isn't Ragnar McRyan, so you finally made it to Strength Bale, eh? I'm afraid I've no more information on the whereabouts of those wee kitties. I'm wondering if that tour to the west has something to do with it all, but I didn't have the first clue who to get inside. It's just a church. Armor shop. Now, you definitely want to get iron armor and an iron shield, but yeah. Hanging around here, grinding up on these monsters is going to take forever. I'm not going to do that. And if you can afford it, you'd want an Iron Lance, but I mean, I wouldn't worry about it unless you just happen to find yourself with extra money. Because you're going to get something better than that later. The fellow Dune in the jail says he used to live in Berlin. Look down in the well. Alright, 25 gold. Let's see. Jail is behind the church. Who are you? Can you let me out of here? I only took the bed because I was hungry. Let me out! Ah! Huh? Huh? Sorry? My name? I'm Angus. Really now? Alright, well, I found the missing husband. So we'll go ahead and save it here. Well, I guess since we can't do anything else here during the day, we will go ahead and head on back to uh, Berlin and talk to Agnes. Just a short walk away. Hopefully we won't get too many 
random encounters along the way. I'll be glad when this chapter is done. I don't like trying to do these accents. <laughs> Although I'm not sure I will fare much better in chapter 2. Chapter 3 I don't think will be so bad with the accents though. Alright, here we are back in Berlin. Oh no! Angus has been locked up in Strathbell Jail for stealing, you say? That's just terrible. I cannot believe he'd do a thing like that. Can you take me to him? I really need your help. So, we had to take her to him in the jail. She'll just follow you, and she won't be in your battles, as I am about to display. Still just Ragnar by himself. Ragnar's just that pimping. It's just gonna follow your expert lead of manliness with your manly stash, your manly short shorts, and your manly pink armor. Ragnar McRyan is the very definition of manliness. And after a short walk, we are back. So we will go to the jail. She automatically walks over to him. Angus, so you are here. Who are ye? What do you mean? Do you know, Ken, who I am, Andy? I'm your wife, Agnius. Maybe your own wedding ring will jog your memory, eh? Remember how much this little beauty cost you? Ach! It's ye, Agnius! That's right, it's me! I didn't ken what came over me. I was attacked by monsters and I was so scared that I went back to the being a baron. Thanks for all your help, soldier. Come to think of it, I heard something curious from those wee lads and lassies. There was talk about a kitty's playground in the forest to the southeast of Toon. You may well find a clue if you go and have a look around there. I'd be away if I were ye. Be kind of you there, soldier. Unfortunately, I can't get in there. Anyway, that's about all I have time for in this episode. So, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, tell your friends about it, leave me a comment, and I will see you guys later.